Hello and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider, the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywood alongside Darren Schoenrock and Coach finally here. Fall practice, spring practice, uh, opening weekend. Uh, we'll be up in Chattanooga. It, it gets here quick and, and uh, we have been on the field an awful lot uh, in a lot of chilly temperatures, but our guys are ready to play against somebody else. It's time to see what we can do. And, and relative to some of the years past, relatively mild spring, winter took to practice on the field. You were able to get outside a lot. We were, and you know, a few days of bad temperatures, but you're dry, the field's dry, so you go out and you play in some 30 degrees, and we uh, we scrimmaged 10 innings one day, and it never got above 34, but we were out there. and and uh, But, you know, I think the as much for reps, but for just to give the team confidence that, that they get into a situation where the, now the, the scoreboard's on and chalk dust is down. Now I've been here before. It's not the first time out. So we're very fortunate in that aspect. You feel pretty good coming through the spring? Feel good. Uh, got some guys uh, that were hurt coming back. Uh, we got a couple of bumps and bruises of guys we're going to miss early, but we'll, we'll, we'll be at full strength, I think, by the end of the end of the end of the first month, end of February, will be a 34-man roster, all full strength. So that's that's an encouraging thing. No surgery, rehabs, or those kind of things going on. Coach, before we talk further about the uh, Tennessee series up in Chattanooga and some other games, you'll have your first home game middle of next week, and then uh, later you'll start getting into some home weekend series because we wanted to mention a special promotion you guys have uh, going on this year. Ryan Wolf in marketing, uh, and, and you got together and came up with this Left Field Deck Challenge. Uh, you'll need to contact Ryan Wolf. His information is on GoTigersGo.com on the website to call him or email him. But tell us, what is the Left Field Deck Challenge? Well, we were trying to find an event or trying to find something that uh, fraternities and sororities and, and community groups, any group, uh, can uh, can kind of hang their hat on and, and give them a reason to come out and have fun on the Left Field Deck. That really nice deck. It's got a grill underneath it. You know, it'll hold 25, 30 people. And uh, so we came up with the idea of who, which, which group that reserves the deck through marketing and for a game can hold the opposing left fielder to the worst batting average. And uh, who, can, who can keep his numbers down during the year, uh, marketing will keep tabs of that. And then the winning group will get a, a day out at FedEx Park late in the year to come out and play a wiffle ball game or a softball game or have a cookout with the team. We'll give them a reward at the end of the year. So great idea. And, we kind of started it last year. It, we had a little bit of, uh, of participation this year. We've we've already got quite a few booked. So contact Ryan in marketing, and and he'll get you signed up for what what games your your group wants to have. And I guess be creative. Anything goes. Yeah, uh, anything, anything goes. And, and less public safety gets called. And <laughs> public safety, and, and you know we like to say we keep it clean, but keep it loud. And uh, and last year our guys really our our players could really notice last year. That that deck when when that group was there doing that because they were like coach this is awesome these guys are real, they're getting after it out there so uh, I'm I'm excited to see what kind of fan what kind of you know interest it can generate with that with that left field group and with our groups on campus you can go to gotigersgo.com go to the staff directory page you can find Ryan Wolf's information on there all right let's talk about the uh, the series uh, in Chattanooga against uh, the Vols uh, kind of a Somewhat neutral side game, although it's much closer to Knoxville. It'll be their home series this year. Uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about pitching. Uh, have you decided yet, or do you want to give us the information? We yet? have. We, no, we decided, be? and uh, we got we traded information, I think, with Tennessee yesterday, actually. So uh, we're going to go with Colton Hathcock Friday, uh, Connor Alexander Saturday, and Matt Ferguson on Sunday. So sophomore, sophomore, senior, uh, they both – uh, uh, Colton and Connor had had pretty significant roles last year. You know, Connor spent the whole year basically after after the second weekend or third weekend, spent the rest of the year in the weekend rotation. And uh, Colton was kind of a go-to guy in the bullpen and then a midweek starter. And they they both uh, are pitching maturity is what they have. And then Matt has just had a uh, phenomenal fall and a phenomenal preseason. Uh, the, you know, sometimes junior college guys, it takes a year to kind of get your feet wet. And he's, he's pitching with a lot of confidence now. And the team uh, feels good about him. And then we've got three or four freshmen that are going to battle for those midweek spots next week. And those guys will all be in the bullpen this weekend. Uh, and, you know, with uh, James Muse and Alex Hicks and uh, uh, and Alex Smith and, and, you know, even John John Bolton, we get him back now. He's missed a lot of preseason with a little tenderness in the arm. So we'll have some some more information on the Tuesday-Wednesday starters after we get through the weekend. The goal of this pitching staff is really to get the ball, get the, get the game into Drew Crosby, 
uh, James Muse getting trying to get it to Noah Blackwood and, and Trey McNichol will be a factor in there. Uh, Ryan Garner can be a factor in there. There's a number of guys that that uh, are going to get looks in those six, fifth, sixth, seventh innings to try to get it to eight, nine, and I feel like we're, we can be dominant at the back end. Sched- schedule's pretty good. You're going to have decent weather, it looks like, over there as far as the, the temperature. May have to battle rain a little bit. That goes with early season. But then next Tuesday, you're going to go down to Starkville to play Mississippi State. So you're going to get this team, especially the pitching, in some big stadiums, the minor league stadium, then down at Duty Noble against uh, some, some high-caliber teams. So you're going to get to expose them uh, to some big-time college baseball early on. Yeah, you know, and I, I, I've, for that reason, Jeff, we're – we're kind of leaning on some of the older guys for these first few games. You know, we've got a very talented freshman class. Uh, Jason Santana, very talented catcher uh, that'll see some time, whether he'll get time Friday night right away. I don't know. You know, uh, it, it's it, mixing and, and matching and, mo- and moving those young guys in at the right times, uh, I think, is a key to the development of their, those guys as players. Sometimes you've got to uh, – kind of go with the older, more experienced guys that may be a little less talented to kind of show the way for these young guys to open the door for the future. It is a team that's going to, we're going we're gonna to get tr- challenged tremendously early. We're going to get, uh, we're going to see what happens when we get hit in the side of the mouth and have to get back up off the mat and go again. It's going to happen. And, uh, uh, but it's also going to be a team I think is going to get better and better. And these early tests against these quality, quality programs are, are good for these young guys. All right, Coach, as always, we appreciate it. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, Coach Darren, Sean Rock, and I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network. Mm-hmm.